everyone, I'm here today to do a video to say thank you to Jula, aka Erpet2121 and Anya who is Annabelle's makeup, both here on YouTube. Uh, they both got have got fantastic channels, I'll link them both below so go and check them out and subscribe, you won't be disappointed, they're both fantastic ladies and unique in their own special ways. I'll start off with Anya's stuff and I was really really pleased with what she'd sent me, I mean she didn't have to send me anything at all. Um, I'm not sure if she's bought me the Wet n Wild stuff because she knows I've been raving about it and wanting to get my hands on a few palettes uh, or if she's just a bloody good guesser but she's got me a couple of Wet n Wild things which I'm really chuffed about. One thing is the Silent Treatment um, I think it's the Colour Icon Trio and these have got absolutely fabulous colours. This, this is gorgeous and to be honest I've not heard much about this one. I have heard of it before because the name does ring a bell but I've not heard an awful lot about it like I did with the Walking on Eggshells and the Comfort Zone. So that's what that looks like and then you've got that colour there, a peachy pinky um, satin colour. Then I'll show you this colour next. Uh, this is a beautiful top, like that, really pretty. Love that one. And then you've got the uh, really, really dark brown with gold shimmer. That middle one there, and that looks like that. So the shimmer does still show in the shadow. Uh, but it's not really big chunks of glitter, it's really nice and subtle, so I'm really, really pleased about that one. Also, another Wet n Wild shadow is one of the individuals, and this is in Nutter, and I've heard a lot about this one. This has been compared to Satin Taupe. I personally think this is a lot more golden than Satin Taupe, but nevertheless, it's absolutely stunning, and this is something that I will get an awful lot of use out of. The so... Uh, silk and smooth these shadows so that's what it looks like on the finger so as you can tell it's it's I say it's a lot like woodwinked unless the the video that I watched they might have got it mixed up and meant woodwinked rather than um, satin taupe I suppose you do get that taupeness to it it looks a lot more taupe in uh, that's more like it there where it's got that golden tone um, yeah, it's a lot more um, golden looking on the skin rather than in the actual palette. And then I'm really excited to try these. Hmm, if I can find the other one. Still in the packet. Yeah, I'm really excited to try these. I'm not sure if this is why she named her channel uh, Annabelle's Makeup, but these are from a brand called Annabelle. I'm not sure if they're only available in Canada, but I know they definitely are a, um, a Canadian brand. And it says, yeah, Montreal, Canada. And then we've got, oh my god, these are gorgeous. This one is called a coal liner, and it's hypoallergenic. Uh, and what is the colour? Exotic, 136 Exotic, and this is a beautiful deep teal, this is gorgeous, and I'm going to really like this for my uh, green eyes, and that's there, this is going to be perfect for the autumn and winter, I love really deep rich colours uh, at this time of the year, and then this beautiful lip liner, also from Annabelle, um, Cosmetics and this one is called Demure 405 and this is a perfect natural colour which is one of them what you're going to be able to reach for for more or less any colour and it will work. That's it there, a nice natural um, nudish colour, like a bit of a darker nude though. Uh, something like that you could wear on its own with just a little bit of gloss on the top and you're ready to go. And then, last but most certainly not least, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I've never tried this, believe it or not, yep, I've not tried it, and it has really, really good reviews. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. It's had a, like I said, it's got, had a millions and millions of fantastic reviews. Um, I have broke out from a few silicone products, but not all silicone products uh, break me out, so hopefully this will be one that doesn't. Thank you so much, Anya. I am honestly 
so appreciative of every single thing that you've bought me and I know you didn't have to send me anything um, you really shouldn't have I'm going to do some damage back to you at Christmas I've already got you a Christmas present and I think you'll laugh when you see it because it is so you that's that's all I'm gonna say so go and check out Annabelle's makeup uh, Anya's a beautiful gorgeous girl inside and out she's so lovely to watch and she has some great hauls um, she also gets the monthly subscriptions of um, oh, what's it called now Lux box and I just think you'd get a lot out of subscribing to her and watching her channel she's uh, really easy to watch and a wonderful girl so thanks again uh, go out and check out her channel right this box of stuff is from rp2121 RP uh, who is Jeweler uh, I'll like I said before I'll link both of uh, their channels below so you can go and check them out subscribe if you like uh, Jeweler is very naughty uh, she actually won uh, my uh, I think it was the third place in my uh, giveaway and, she, and because she's obviously received some goods she's wanted to send me some stuff back as a thanks which I told her she didn't have to do um, she she won it and she, I, I just really appreciate the fact that she's gone out and got me this stuff it means an awful lot and the stuff that she sent is just phenomenal and out of this world and I can't believe she's been so kind so firstly I'll remark upon the first things that caught my eye and it's three wet and wild colour icon palettes and oh, you're naughty you're very naughty girl jeweler this one is walking on eggshells that I was talking about a minute ago this one I've heard quite a lot about and this is very me because it's very neutral natural and easy to go so you get this really beautiful and it's a very soft pearly colour, creamy colour and it has got a pearl to it it reminds me a little bit of Creamy Bisque that's just come out in the latest Mac Me Over collection and then I'll show you this colour here, this is like a mixture of I've still got the swatches from the other shadows on my finger that's why it's looking a bit brown this reminds me of a mixture between Naked Lunge and All The Glitters from Mac probably I don't know. Yeah, I'd say it's an in-between. It's not quite as light as Naked Lunge and it's not quite as bright and orange as All That Glitters. But this, I'd say it's more, it leans more towards the Naked Lunge side. A gorgeous uh, pink -er peach. And then you get this absolutely stunning bronze colour here. Which reminds me a little bit of Romp. A little bit. I wouldn't call it a jewel, but it just reminds me a little bit of it. I think this is a lot more golden. But look at them three colours. They're just going to be so easy to wear. I'm really, really lucky. I can't believe she's got me all this stuff. Um, she could have got me one thing and I would have been absolutely over the moon. So I'm really chuffed. And the next one is this cute, Cool as a Cucumber. Looking at it in there, you think, wow, them colours are absolutely gorgeous. But when you swatch them they are absolutely phenomenal this is a light green that comes through with a little oh sorry I'll show you my finger that's it there and it comes through it's a like there it looks like a really pale mint cream colour it comes from the end with a really quite a bright yellowish green iridescence to it I'm not sure if that's going to come through and show but oh my god these have so much more to them than what you first realise and you've got this beautiful dark green colour here that is more of a like a frosty tealer forest green and then it comes through it looks more like a forest green in the pan in fact it is probably more like a forest green and it comes through with this um, with the same iridescence, the bright uh, limeish iridescence as what the other one comes through with and it's been washed out a little bit so I'm really sorry about that it's looking a bit like Vex there actually and then last but not least of the colour icon palettes this one is Knock On Wood and you get this gorgeous soft pinky rose colour and this is a colour that I would actually use as a blush 
it's very soft and subtle this one and it does have very very fine it's micro shimmer I'd call it it's just there if you can just about see a few of the speckles of the um, shimmer and then you get this gorgeous deeper burgundy maroon colour and this one also has like a golden bronzy colour like an uh, undertone to it it's like a cranberry absolutely gorgeous and then you get this really pretty chocolatey brown right here in the middle and that looks like that that is really pretty nice and bronzer and chocolatey brown so they are the Wet n Wild uh, Colour Icon palettes that she sent me then she sent this and I was really really excited to get this and this is the Revlon Grow Luscious Plumpy Mascara and this is in 001 Blackest Black this um, is something that has been raved about left right and centre on uh, YouTube and it's something that I've been really wanting to try but I've got quite a few mascaras so I won't want to purchase any more until I'd got through some of them um, but I'm really 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 looking forward to this because I noticed that this does have a, a lot of really good reviews so thank you very much for that one Julie and then this, uh, it, she must have read my mind honestly it's one of the elf eyeshadow brushes, it's just a shader brush and this is something that I was going to repurchase myself the next time I was making an order because I do have one of these and my daughter, my two year old daughter bit the ferrule so what happened is it sent the brush um, head out of shape so now I can use one of these again and I'm really pleased, really 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 pleased to uh, have another one of them right these i'm really 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 surprised and really happy with these are the elf uh, eyeshadow quads i've tried one it's in the oh it's in the shade innocent and it's one what my mum gave me um and that one wasn't all that good on the pigmentation it may have had one eyeshadow in there what wasn't too bad and the rest was really quite uh crap <laughs> basically this one is day to night and the colours in here are absolutely like, stunning you get this really pretty pale um, iridescent colour that reminds me of vanilla pigment by MAC and that is there it's like a golden ivory with a pinky peachy iridescence and then you get this beautiful taupey colour at this side, I mean look at the pigment on these uh, they're not at all like that one that I got from my mum and that is like that so beautiful like a rosy yeah like a rosy taupe then you get this beautiful maroon colour right here this is an amazing colour look at that Oh my god, I'm in love with that colour. This blackish, greyish brown colour which reminds me of Smut from MAC. And that looks like that. And then on the skin, it looks like that. Now look at them shadows. For £1.50 in the UK and for a dollar in the US, you really can't go wrong with, the, with this precise palette, which is day to night. Guaranteed you can't go wrong with that one and I would just miss out on the innocent I wouldn't go for that one this one's butternut which is also butternut is it yeah butternut which is also really nice you get this one which is oh god I'm running out of places to swatch it's like a golden shimmery colour it's like again it's got the micro shimmers in and then you get this oh I've just done that one haven't I? and then you get this really pale no, that is the one that I've just swatched. Right, sorry, I'll do that again. And then you get this one here, which is more of a peachy colour. Which is there. Which is not actually showing up as deep as what it actually is. And then you get this bronzier. Oh my god look at that this one reminds me a lot of romp 
from uh, MAC. Really pretty. And then last but not least you get this deep um, charcoal colour. Charcoal browny colour. Again uh, with the gold micro shimmers uh, but it's a bit it's a bit of a deeper um, brown with a greyish tint to it absolutely gorgeous and now I'm absolutely covered in swatches and then she got me this physician's formula mineral mineral Min mineral wear blush and this is a talc free mineral wear mineral bro uh, blush it says minimalist formula helps reduce irritation and breakouts. It includes a built-in mirror and brush and it's for extra sensitive or breakout prone skin. So that's absolutely fantastic because I do have um, breakout prone skin. I've got really weird skin, mate. I do have really dry skin, um, basically all over on my face. And then at certain times of the month, I do get oily and spotty. So I can't win really with my skincare. I just basically go with whatever my skin feels like. I'll add a product into my skincare regime or take something out. Now back to the video. Uh, this is Rose Glow and this is absolutely like, gorgeous. It reminds me a little bit, just a little bit, of a matte version of Deep Throat by NARS. And that is there, just down the middle. It is absolutely gorgeous. And you get a little brush with it as well. Which I suppose is good for if you're on the go. So that is really nice as well. And then last but most certainly not least. Is this Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick. And it's a matte uh, 002 in pink pout. And she likes this one herself don't you Julie? Uh, a really nice um, mauve toned uh, pink. So it's more on the cool side. And it is absolutely gorgeous. That's there. Look at that, that is such a beautiful colour and I'm really going to enjoy wearing that. Thank you so very much Julia. I really am appreciative of every single thing that you've bought. You've bought way too much and you really shouldn't have. Um, you've got a Christmas gift coming on the way though so be expecting that and because I'm telling you that I don't want you to think you've got to go buy me something um, because that's really not the case you've spent way more than you should have spent here and I'm so so pleased with everything that you've bought me um, I can tell you're getting to know me really well because they're all things that I'm going to use to the absolute death of them <laughs> um, and I'm really going to enjoy using them and trying out different looks and I think I might do some tutorials with the stuff that you've both sent uh, for both of you, I really, really thank you very, very, very much. So, everybody, uh, I'd really appreciate it. if you went and checked out the channels. It's Annabelle's Makeup, um, which, who is Anya, and then there is Erpy2121, who is Jeweler. They're both fantastic ladies, and uh, you'll really enjoy watching them. So, I'll leave the information in the below bar. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!